I wanted to do another video to just explain and show one of the products that I've been working on. So this time it's the double iPhone speaker, which a lot of you have probably already seen videos of on YouTube that I've already done, but you might not really understand what it is, I might not have really explained it. So I just wanted to show you how I do them and explain the reasoning behind it. So it started off because I was installing sound into somebody's background class 57 and you don't have much space, you're basically limited to the space under the fans which gives you space for a, a 20 by 40 and I don't particularly like the sound of 20 by 40 speakers I think they can be improved quite a lot They're fairly loud but I don't think they're that clear or anything um, So I realised that in the same space I could fit an iPhone speaker um, because they take up a similar footprint once they're trimmed down and all the unnecessary bits are removed um, but I took it a step further by stacking two on top of each other because these are 8 ohms on their own and if you put two together like this you end up with a 4 ohm speaker which as you probably know is better for Zimmo and uh, Loxan 4 decoders so that's how that came about and then once I realised how good it sounded I tried it in a lot of different models and I was sort of equally impressed with how it sounded in other models um, but to solve them, I decided that the best way to do it would be to pre-attach the wire and wrap them in heat shrink because there's quite a lot of metal surfaces on an iPhone speaker and obviously you don't want them touching the wrong things because you can end up with short circuits which will probably ruin your decoder which is an expensive mistake uh, so this makes them particularly easy to fit Once I've developed that, I sort of still found that there are a couple of models it won't fit in um, particularly where you've got sort of rounded corners to the speaker well and stuff so I came up with this one which is what I call the double iPhone speaker mini which is shorter, quite a lot shorter, it's fractionally higher but I've not found that to be a problem um, but that sounds just as good but that'll fit into smaller models and more limited spaces again the benefit of this speaker being the ease of installation you don't have to go into the tanks like you would have done with some of the bigger speakers and things like the um, mega bass speaker that I sell. You can literally just put it in and uh, blue tack it down or whatever. It's easy to fit. Um, in terms of sound quality, it's not got quite as much bass as something like the mega bass speaker, but it's certainly got as much bass as the bass reflex speakers that I sell. Um, but it's much smaller. Um, I'd say in comparison to other speakers it would be similar to something like the double dumbo speaker which other manufacturers make and you've probably seen and probably tried um, but not everybody wants to spend £25 on a speaker um, these are £10 and I sell them through roadsandrails.co.uk um, and eBay so that's something that you can have a look at I'll put links in the uh, video description to help you find them I'd be interested to hear any feedback that you have. Uh, so far the feedback's been very good. I was lucky enough to meet somebody who's fitted one into a Class 47 at the York Model Railway Exhibition last weekend. And he ran the loco around their exhibition layout for me. So I did a quick clip of that in the videos after this. And I've recorded some of my own models that I've got them in. Uh, so you can have a listen to them.